Hello and welcome to the third, final and biggest travel series on my channel this summer. If you've been following along so far, then you'll know that my boyfriend and I have traveled to Hawaii and Canada. And now with the help of travel agency, My Adventure Project, we are taking on the East Coast of Australia. We're gonna be traveling for about six and a half weeks in total. And in this video, we start our journey in Melbourne and Sydney. I hope you enjoy. Hello, it is Wednesday today and we are all set to travel to Melbourne this afternoon. We've got a 15 and a half flower flower. <laughs> got a 15 and a half hour flight ahead of us and then a six and a half hour flight ahead of us so a lot of traveling to come we thought we'd take the opportunity now to tell you about the company that we're actually going to be working with throughout this trip they're called my adventure project and they very kindly gifted a large part of this trip specifically the accommodation the travel throughout australia and the tours and activities that we're going to be doing so map are a uk based travel agency and they arrange high quality and hand-picked tours, accommodation and travel across the whole east coast of Australia. And they'll book everything on behalf of you so you don't need to worry about doing any of the research yourself. All the tours, accommodation, everything's booked. And the best thing yet, they all worked in the travel industry before in Australia so they know exactly what they're doing. And one of the best things about booking a trip through MAP is the level of personalization that you get. We have been planning this trip for months with Seb over emails, over video calls, and he has made sure that the itinerary is exactly to our liking and has accounted for all of our specific requests, such as days for editing and making sure that we're getting back in time for the start of uni. They even sent us a box through the post ahead of our trip with some few things to take with us. And this isn't just the treatment that we're getting, you can expect exactly the same service if you also book a trip through them. But for now, we will see you when we arrive in Melbourne. On Friday. A long time later. We arrive on Friday. God. <laughs> I can't even comprehend that. Hello, we are currently in Melbourne. It is about one in the afternoon oh, or something like that. We arrived at like four, got to our hostel at six and went to bed at seven in the morning. I don't feel too bad currently. It's fine, I think we've done quite well. I think we might hit time zone straight away. Now we've woken up at midday. We'll be tired today, but it means yeah. we'll fall asleep earlier. So we should be good. We're gonna go out and get some food now. So um, just, it's just lunch it's not even brunch anymore it's just lunch what do i believe what makes me feel it to write you this song two hours a day five months and a year oh i loved you too long Someone is not doing well. Good morning. 
morning. How are you today? I'm so tired. Like, ridiculously tired. Well, you were in bed for about 12 hours throughout the day, but yeah. now you've woken up and you're even more tired than you went to bed as. We went to bed at 7pm. I think I slept from 7 till 11. Then I was awake from 11 till half 4. And then I think I was asleep from half 4 till half 6. But it's fine. Not thriving. Push through it today and then, yeah, tomorrow we should be great because we've got Great Ocean Road tomorrow, haven't yeah. we? And today I think we're just going to walk through Melbourne and see the rest of the city. morning it is sunday today and we are up bright and early it's about 7 30 i think at the moment yeah. because today we are doing the great ocean road trip which as far as i know is just a long coach journey along the coast stopping off at different points and we're going to be doing it with bunyip tours so we're just walking to another hostel now in melbourne to go and meet them i actually don't know where i'm going <laughs> also very cool surroundings right now the architecture in melbourne is actually Actually so nice and it's such a green city as well that's what I really like and where we're staying is literally right by the beach you've got the beach you've got the city you've got the greenery you've got everything, you've got everything. <laughs> The tour lasted pretty much the whole day because we made lots of little stops along the way to see wildlife before we got to our end destination of the 12 apostles. We had such a good time this day. We actually learned so much from Bert who was our driver and our tour guide and we even saw a koala even though it was quite far up in the trees. But yeah, really recommend doing this tour. Work it. <laughs> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free, oh my sweet baby Today we headed back into Melbourne to continue exploring, checking out the museum at the Shrine of Remembrance and then also meeting up with Sid's friend Anya from uni who's currently doing her study abroad in Melbourne. We went to the botanical gardens before completely switching up the vibe and heading to the most chaotic bingo I have ever been to in my life. This was Big Willie's bingo at the Base Backpackers Hostel in St Kilda which is where we were staying and oh my god this was was such a fun night. You can come and book a table even if you're not staying at the hostel, but if you are looking for somewhere super sociable to stay in Melbourne, then I would highly recommend this hostel and particularly this bingo night if you wanna have the most random but incredible night out. <laughs> After 
dropping all of our luggage off in a locker in the station, we headed to the ACMI Museum, which had a free exhibition on film and video games, animations, things like that. It didn't really sound like my cup of tea initially, but this was such a fun museum. It was super interactive, there was different games, you could try making sound effects for films. So if you're in Melbourne, then I would definitely recommend checking this out. We then headed to the University of Melbourne where we saw the most incredible view of the skyline from Anya's friend's student accommodation window before heading to the station to get our first Greyhound bus. However, the reason for that abrupt cut is because during that 12 hour journey, I somehow got incredibly sick. Not travel sick, it must have just been some sort of general sickness bug. So the first day in Sydney was a bit of a write off. Hello, good morning. We are in Sydney from Melbourne. We didn't say anything from yesterday. And why was that? Because I was so unwell. And I still feel quite unwell today, to be honest. Yes, I was woken up in the middle of the bus journey to a tapping to Lydia about to be sick on the bus. So yeah, and I think for the latter half of the bus trip, you were just- It was so yeah, bad. You were being sick for most of it. So, yeah. so yesterday, yeah. as you can see, we did pretty much nothing. But today we're going to see the Blue Mountains on a tour. And hopefully you shouldn't be throwing up on a bus today. So we'll see how that goes. I really hope so. I love my plain dry carpool bus <laughs> consisted of a walk around the Blue Mountains to see the view and the different waterfalls, a stop at the Three Sisters, which is these three rocks, and then also a stop to hopefully see the sunset. However, on the day that we went, as you can see, it was quite cloudy and overcast, so unfortunately we didn't get much of a sunset, but the views were very pretty nonetheless. What a big girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it is Friday today. We are currently walking through the Royal Botanical Gardens. We actually just walked through a film set, which was quite cool. They were filming Last, the Last King, King. On the Cross, I think. Not that so. I've ever heard of that, but today is our first proper day exploring Sydney because obviously the first day that we were here, I spent in bed. <laughs> Yesterday, we we're in the Blue Mountains. So today and tomorrow, we're trying to cram everything in. We've just gone to see the Opera House and Harbour Bridge and as I've just mentioned we're walking around the gardens now and then what else do we have planned? I don't actually know. I think we're just gonna walk around see what there is and then probably head to Bondi Beach tomorrow so. Look at the length of its beak! I can't believe they're called bin chickens. Well they're not obviously called a bin chickens. It's an ibis. It sends shit- oh my god! <laughs> then hopped on the metro or the underground, not really sure what they're called here, and headed over to Newtown. Also, can you believe that the metro is double-decker? That was just incredible to me. But anyway, Newtown had all of these cool graffiti and street art murals, and we just had a wander around, grabbed a coffee before heading back to our hostel. <laughs> We're just getting ready to check out this morning, and I realised that I have haven't actually shown you the room that we're staying in in Sydney. So we're in a nomads hostel here. And as you can see, this one is a shared room. So it's actually a room for four people, but we've been very lucky and no one else has actually checked in during our time here. On our final day in Sydney, we decided to do the famous walk from Coogee Beach to Bondi Beach, which is a six kilometer coastal walk with stunning views of the beaches along the way. Stinky. <laughs> 
And because the weather was so good this day and we still had time to kill before our coach, we headed back to Sydney Harbour and really luckily got to see a gorgeous sunset by the Opera House and the Harbour Bridge and this very cute seal. Before heading back to the station, collecting our bags and boarding our 13 hour Greyhound Australia coach from Sydney to Byron Bay. Big shout out to Greyhound Australia because they are the ones taking us from place to place up the east coast. Hello, we are in Byron Bay now. We managed the 13 hour coach ride without throwing up, without getting ill. So Congratulations, well done. We're making progress on that front, although you didn't sleep very well. Yeah, a little bit cramped, but it was fine. But anyway, we thought now would be a good time to end the vlog because this evening we're just going to Sid's family friends for dinner. And then tomorrow the exploration and activities in Byron Bay will resume. This next week is when most of our activities are. I think we've got something on like every single day so yeah, should be a pretty exciting vlog so make sure to stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you're in the loop with all of the Australia content. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram because that's where everything is properly up to date because all the vlogs are like two weeks behind. But anyway I'll see you in the next video. This was the most muddled outro ever. See you then. Bye! <laughs>